What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at Crazy Taxi City Rush. This is a more touch-friendly version of the Crazy Taxi franchise, and if you're familiar with that classic arcade game, then this is basically the same thing. You get clients and you take them from point A to point B, and there's also bonus missions where you either race through checkpoints or you can even drive a tank and see how much destruction you can cause. So stuff like that, it's pretty simple uh, to play, to pick up, and they've done a really good job of making it a touch version of the game, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump in. I have the sound turned off right now, or the music rather, for copyright rules and whatnot, so go ahead and hit play. This is the overview screen. Right now I'm in the downtown area. You unlock later levels as you pass the HQ missions, and once you pass those, you unlock other parts of the city. Uh, as you see at the top, there's kind of a little gauge. It's a fuel tank up here. That's how many times you can play before you have to wait. The one knock I would say against this game is there's a lot of paywalls for stuff, and I bought a, um, I guess, a, a, an unlock to get rid of a lot of ads, and I had some Play Store credits, so I might as well, I figured I might as well use them to get rid of the ads in this, and there's still a lot of ads and paywalls, so I'll talk about that a little more. I'm just going to go ahead and jump, jump in real quick here and play a game so you can see how the gameplay works. So I turn the sound up a little bit. And the controller settings that I have right now are basically just oh, yeah. taps and swipes. So see we take off here. You can tap to change lanes on this control setup that I have. And then turns you hold on the one side of the screen. So see it hold and he turns. And then to stop you just repeatedly tap on the screen right there. And then down here we have a turbo button. And uh, it's got some pretty good uh, graphics, good sound effects. The music is okay too, it's not any music that I'm familiar with, but um, you know, it's there to provide ambiance to the gameplay. Uh, as I said, I turned it off for YouTube copyright deals and all that stuff. So, I think we have one more person to pick up here. He's at Turbo. And there we go. So that was one of the levels. Uh, it was an easier level. There's some pretty tough levels that are hard to get to through, and the only way to get through them is through upgrading your taxi. Uh, this was an easier level, but there's some that are really hard. Um, go ahead and hit OK here. OK, I got a metal. Nice. As you pick up items, or as you pick up people in the game, some of them will leave stuff in your cab, and as you collect those items, they can unlock the trunk here, uh, which will give you random prizes. Or if you want, you can uh, unlock now, which costs diamonds as opposed to cash, and diamonds are a lot more difficult to come by. Go ahead and hit Next. Uh, one of the things you see up here, this is going on until October 31st, or I'm going to go ahead and tap that. <laughs> and uh, we have a Halloween version of Hulk Hogan, and he gives you bonuses, um, he gives you more money for pickups, um, and if you want to hire him, you can do so. And let me see, yeah, so I've already hired him, and this is one of the paywalls that I was talking about. So you see if I want to hire him we can watch a video which is a video for an ad um, or we can pay diamonds to unlock them for more rides as you can probably guess diamonds are a lot rarer than cash is and it's a lot harder to get like I said even though I paid to unlock the game and get rid of the ads sometimes when I open the game I'll still get shown an ad for another game which is pretty lame this is a free to play game it's a fun game I'm enjoying it a lot and if I hadn't paid that unlock you know, fee or whatever, there would be a lot more ads. Pretty much any time you finish a mission, you have to look at an ad. So keep that in mind. It is a free game to try, so try it out. If the ads don't bother you, then it's a really fun game. Good graphics. Uh, you'll see I'm, I'm playing on my Nexus 5 here. I don't know if you could tell, but um, it does support full screen, which there's not a lot of apps that support that yet. As you can see, if I swipe over, 
the navigation buttons come up, so that's pretty cool. One of the other things they did is, if I turn my device this way, so you can actually play in this configuration as well. Um, again, that's a really nice feature, and not a lot of games are that scalable, so that's a pretty cool option. Um, you can see up here, I don't know if you can see that, let me zoom in a little more. So there's that little gas gauge that I was telling you about, and you can't play unless you have fuel, which is pretty lame. So if you run out of fuel, you have to either wait, or you can watch commercials, and it'll give you fuel. <laughs> Again, another paywall. Um, I don't play often enough that I find myself, you know, running out of fuel. I play for a couple of minutes here and there, and then, you know, I put it down and my fuel re refills on its own. I come back and I have fuel, but if you are someone who who does play a lot, then that's going to kind of get on your nerves. This has been a look at Crazy Taxi City Rush. Um, like I said, even though it has a lot of annoying paywalls, it, it is a really fun game to play. It's got really nice graphics. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. So until next time... Have fun playing Crazy Texas City Rush, and if you know of any, if you know of any other games that you know take advantage of full screen mode like this, or are playable in a landscape or portrait configuration, let me know in the description down below. Because um, it's nice when you have you know a Nexus device and you have an app that does take advantage of the full screen. So pretty nice. But um, that's it for now. So we'll see you next time. Take care.